City of Dallas is working on a plan to add meters. Parking meters are some of the city's most sought after parking spots in popular nightlife neighborhoods. And the price to park on the street could go up in places where meters already exist. Fox 4's Lori Brown live in Dallas's Deep Ellum neighborhood to explain the city's strategy. Lori. Steve, the idea is for the city to strike a careful balance, setting the price of parking high enough that about one spot per block stays open at any given time, but not setting the price so high that it turns people away altogether. There are no places to park. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, manager of Dude Sweet Chocolate and Bishop Arts, isn't so sure that adding meters will solve the area's parking problem. Getting a parking lot would be the better thing to do. And Deep Ellum John Hetzel, president of the Deep Ellum Foundation, says with meters right now either free or $1 an hour, employees snatch them up over more expensive surface lots. But a lot of our employees uh, need the meters uh, to get to their jobs uh, and need cheap and free meters. Dallas is proposing to either install new meters or increase the price of existing meters until about one space per block starts opening up. The max price for now would be $6 an hour. Customers respond to pricing, uh, and so they're going to go for what's cheapest and most convenient. Hetzel says increasing parking prices is an idea that will only work if the city and TxDOT move forward with creating a lot for employees under Interstate 345, the elevated highway between Deep Ellum and downtown. The foundation would then run a shuttle to and from the lot. The employee parking is so important for our businesses to thrive down here. And when you're talking servers, buses, bussers, bartenders, dishwashers, you know, they can't afford to pay $20 a night. Catherine Rush, chief planner for Dallas's Department of Transportation, explained the city's theory. The only thing worse than paying for parking is having no parking at all. Councilman Jesse Moreno argued people will support good businesses with or without easy parking. But people are going are gonna to find that place and they're, they're going to go whether they Uber the next time or, or drive down. Councilwoman Kara Mendelson disagreed. I'm looking to go to dinner with friends that very often they do not want to come into the, this area because of parking. Wow. They could go to Plano, Frisco, Richardson, Addison very easily for free and abundant parking. Dallas City Manager T.C. Broadnax explained the significance of what the city council ultimately decides. What we decide to do or to not do with this area will influence the vitality of the city and particularly its core business districts. The city says 60% of the money generated would go back into the community where the meter is paying for things like lighting, sidewalk and street repairs, and public safety. The other 40% would go to operate the meters. The city's transportation department will be seeking public input, and the city council could vote on this early this summer. Steve.